I want to demonstrate another neat new feature of 12C R2, release 12.2 of the database. I'm going to go through the ability to convert a table from a non-partition table to a partition table online. It has in effect been possible to do this for some time with the DBMS redefinition package. However, DBMS redefinition was always a fair bit of work. You had to create the new table. You had to ensure that all the dependent objects were correctly copied over. Yes, there was a procedure to help with that, but it didn't have much flexibility. And when it came to indexes, your options were very limited indeed. In the current release, we can convert a table to a partition structure with a single alter table modify command. So here I am, logged on a Scott. And what I'm connected to is a 12C release to database. And what I'm going to do is list partition my emp table. I'm going to list partition it on the depth no column. To make it a bit more interesting, before I do that change, I'm going to add a non-default index. I'm going to index the foreign key column, which I'm also going to use the list partitioning column, which is depth no. Now to do the conversion. Here's my command. Alter table emp modify. Partition by list depth no. You can partition by anything you want. Range, list, hash, composite, subpartitioning, any combination you want. I'm choosing list because that's probably the easiest. Partition P10, the values, the rows in department 10. Partition P20, department 20. Partition P30, department 30. Note the use of the online keyword. By default, the table will be locked while the change is in progress. Online allows DML to continue. So execute. Of course, if this were a larger table, the conversion would take a long time, hours as it goes through all the rows. But during that time, DML continues. Of course, there's extra workload on the database, but there's a pretty good chance that your users won't notice. And what do we now have? We have a list partitioned table. Here's the proof. Select partition name high value from user tab partitions. And there are my three list partitions. Does it actually work? I'll enable the auto trace facility and run a simple query. So for reasons known only to the cost-based optimizer, Oracle has decided to use an index access path, but note the partition pruning has come in. And here you see the interesting extra point I wanted to mention. By default, any indexes that include the partition key are converted into local partitioned indexes as part of the conversion procedure. And if I tell Oracle not to use an index access path, just give it a no index hint, there we see table access storage full. This is an X data system. But in fact, we've pruned it down to just a single list partition. What about all the indexes? Well, let's have a look at how they're structured after the change. We see here, select index name, status partitioned from user indexes, where table name equals emp. And there you see the index on the partitioning key has been converted into a local partitioned index. All other indexes are converted into global non-partitioned indexes, but they do survive. You know, there's none of that nonsense of having to rebuild them after the change. There has been demand in the marketplace for the capability to convert a table from partitioned to non-partitioned for years. In release 12.2, this capability has finally been delivered.